Hello there. Welcome back to coverage of the Community Super League. I'm Marshall Sutcliffe coming to you from sunny Las Vegas, and I am joined by the professor who is just, what, one state over from me, Prof? Uh, yeah, we're out here in sunny California. Well, not that sunny uh, in northern California, but I think that we still get more sun than the rest of the nation. So, Prof, I, I haven't been able to keep up too much. Have you been able to watch the matches from tonight? I have been watching the matches. This is probably the most of this format I have ever seen in my life. I have never played it before. <laughs> this will be my first time playing it. I got to admit, I was a little bit of a sourpuss. I know, hard to believe that I could possibly be a bit of a sourpuss about anything, but I was feeling a little like, oh, it's the wacky format. You know, you don't try and force comedy. I mean, anybody who follows me on YouTube knows that I don't try and force comedy. But uh, I've actually been having a blast. I think it really is a lot of fun getting to hear all the smack talk between people as they play. Yeah, I think this is going to be really fun. We get to, instead of commentating somebody else's match, we're going to commentate our own match, which I think is really cool. And then on top of it, We've got uh, Momir Basic, which is like just, it's the coin flippiest, most random fun <laughs> format, right? Like you don't put a lot of energy into it. <laughs> I mean, it is weird. I don't know if you've seen this, Prof, but people have spreadsheets. Really? Like, yes, about like where you should, you know, play your, cre you know, activate your Momir avatar and oh. which ones not to do. And, you know, if you're ahead, be careful for phage and this kind of stuff. For me, I do it a little differently. I just go for it, man. I just get in there and uh, and go nuts. So I'm not I'm not really as down with the whole spreadsheet thing for Momir. I think that that's like kind of against the, you know, the spirit of it. Well, it's a very spiky format. I mean, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, it, right. it attracts it attracts the hardcore players and mm -hmm. so I think that's part of the reason we're doing it at the CSL to try and attract more casual players to show them that yes you might sit down against a, a total spike but also Momir can be a few laughs as well. Yeah totally um, so yeah you and I are uh, I, I, the, the, the only real decision that we have to look at is which basic lands did we choose. Now I'm assuming Prof that you put a lot of thought and time and consideration into which basics you chose. Is, is I did. I I, I always do. Yeah, I just went for the ones. Uh, I've been on a. I've been on a on a different kick. Normally, I'm a beta basic lands guy, but I've been uh, playing a few different ones on Magic Online. Ones that I can't get in real life. That's your. Uh, <laughs> that's your only hint. All right. Yeah, it does look like we're getting close here, though. I think we can go. Yeah. All right. So let's go down and watch. Well, you and me play Momir Basic. I definitely think this is a few excellent players we're about to see. Oh wait, I wasn't supposed to talk there. <laughs> All right, so welcome to the uh, CSL Momir Basic here. So here's the deal. You can't see my hand cam because I'm actually in a hotel in Las Vegas, and I figured that we would be as kind to my internet connection as possible. <laughs> and uh, so you can't see it, but I'll, I'll give you a hint. It's all basics. And I'll tell you what, too. Uh, anytime you want to know, Prof, you just ask me, buddy. I'll tell you exactly what I got in my hand. Do you have mm -hmm. at least one island in your hand? I do. I do. All right, good. And I've also decided to keep, in fact, I'm going to show you that island in a minute because it is flat out gorgeous. Look at this. Oh, oh yeah. guru. Yeah. And I'm not going to play anything on one because somebody told me that's a bad idea. But I'm going to tell you what, why? starting on turn two, you're going to be feeling the heat, my friend. Wait, why is that a bad idea? I don't under, I genuinely don't understand. Uh, maybe you should try it and find out. Okay, Ooh, I will. Very good choice. My God. Yes. Base. All right. So let's see. Uh, I'm going to do this. Keep in mind, this is the first time I have ever played. So let's see if I can or cannot screw this up. Survey says War Torn Goblin. It's a 1 1. I can spend red to sacrifice War Torn Goblin and have it deal two damage to target blocking creature. That'll <laughs> learn you. Yeah, you know, buddy, I think you might have missed on that one. All right. I'm why? Sure. I still don't understand why I wouldn't want to do that. I'm a creature ahead, aren't I? Uh, we'll find out in a minute here. Mm. Let's see. I'm going to discard a planes. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh. What is that? At the beginning oh, of your upkeep, sacrifice God. it unless I exile the top creature card of my graveyard. No. <laughs> I'll allow it. 
You know, I, I think your plan is looking good here. <laughs> you you are certainly a creature ahead, though. I will say my Barrow Ghoul will block for a turn, so I'm taking nothing this turn. All right. Here we go. And I got absolutely nothing. What no did you creature do? to choose for Jawari Shapeshifter. So oh I've, no! You got a clone. <laughs> yeah, but the, it has to clone. Uh, I, 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 isn't it an ally or something like that? It the must Gwari be. The shapeshifter has to clone an ally. Wow! Well, I think I'm going to hold back until your guy dies, right? Yeah, well, yeah, I think you should do that. Yeah. All right. I'll exile the top creature of my graveyard. Yeah. Or You're will I? All guru lands, huh? Yeah, yep. I'm on gurus, buddy. I, God, I That's love That's appropriate. You're, you're the Magic the Gathering guru, so yeah, it is right. appropriate that you would be playing gurus. All right, let's see what we hit for three. Also, I hear you're very expensive. What the? Oh, I hit a god. Oh, my god. Yeah. Indestructibles. I remember seven. Okay. That's probably not turning into a creature anytime soon. I don't know. I, I could get really lucky, like... My devotion has to be seven. I'm already at two. Let's see what I you've got. All right, I'm doing see, three. Let's see if it's better than immediately lucky. dies. Okay. When what else? else? Oh my god! I can so search my lucky. library for a forest. My library has a forest. Oh. I got ramp. Ramp. ramp, ramp I'm ramp, so ramp. jealous right now, Prof. Oh man! Now this puts you even with me as far as what level of creature we're playing, but you have an extra card. Right. And so I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I have one because of the uh, CSL uh, God accounts. I couldn't do all betas. And so I have one forest in here that is not a matching beta. I went for the closest thing to that, which is beautiful Snowland. Or not oh, a Snowland, a uh, Ice Age forest. Ice, not Snowland, but Ice that, Age. That, that is a snow forest, isn't it? Yes. Oh, no, it's no, not. No, no, it right. isn't. You're no, right. It's, it's a forest with snow on it, but not yeah. a snow forest. Yeah. You see, it depends on which order the snow falls or the tree grows <laughs> to determine whether it generates mana. All if the right. snow falls first, then you get the mana. All right, let's see. I'm going to get a white or black four drop here with lots of juicy mana symbols. You huh? know, I should auto yield to your... Oh, no. Oh. That's well, nice. So how many blue and black spells do you run in your deck? Uh, I'd say zero. All right. So I've got a 3-4 vanilla on four. <laughs> Meanwhile, you're going to five right now. Uh, at least you only have two one ones, I guess. All right. Here we go. Number five. Staying alive with number five. Ooh, what is this? It's a basilisk. Whenever Sylvan Basilisk becomes blocked by a creature, destroy that creature. <laughs> oh, that's actually pretty me. good. Yeah. But it's so it's death touch, but only for when your guy's attacking? Yes. Right. Or, or only when my guy's being blocked. Oh, is that yeah, yeah. So he has to be attacking to be blocked, right? Just But it sounds like he'll live because uh yeah. it'll kill it before. So that's better than death touch. Oh, whenever it, it becomes blocked. blocked. Yeah, yeah, yeah so you're right. You don't lay. All you have to do is lay sight on my basilisk, and you're dead. You don't even get to touch it. You, you it's, are totally correct. It's one correct. ugly basilisk. Let's be honest. <laughs> so I need to find something to attack you with. Is what you're trying to tell me here? Well, I think you did. I wow. did. I found an. Oh, oh, can I mill you out? Yes, it's <laughs> Nemesis of Reason. Oh no. <laughs> You better find an answer for this, and oh, very no. quickly, my friend, because that is 10 per turn. Oh, baloney. Yes. It's like an unblockable 5-5 five five that you can block. All right. Let's see what uh, lucky number uh, six is Come on, is something small. Here. Something big and powerful that destroys target creature would be nice. Or has power and toughness. No! You may have rocks assign its combat damage as though it weren't blocked. It has super generated. Simple. Interesting. Super All right. Simple. Yeah. That's mm. aggressive. Eh. I like that attack. Yeah, I bet you do. A little better than the previous one. All what right. is my activated ability on this? Oh, never mind. It's not activated. <laughs> it's well, I am going to die. 
No, you you have blockers now. Like oh, if it's I not attack... flying. Oh, I thought your nemesis no. was flying. No, oh, that you're, you're too fine. Now. All right. Oh. Oh, I hit triple white. Victory's Herald. Whenever it attacks, attacking creatures gain flying and lifelink. Oh my god. Play. Now we can race. All right, I'm back on the board, baby. How many, how much, uh, I have three, four, oh, I have six, uh, what's it called? You know the six, luckiest uh, number in magic? It's seven. One, two, uh, three, I'll four, five, six, seven. Just don't be a flyer. Come on. Yeah, just show him some power. Oh, yeah, Joker of Maggio. Power. Yeah, all yeah, right. That's not going to get it done. No, no, it's oh, not. Oh, I'm oh, feeling okay. really good about this. Uh, yeah. So I attack you for a million. Mill you for 10, gain 10, play a 100 drop. This game is over. I'm calling it right here. There's nothing you could possibly draw. You're probably just going to flood out. Probably. Uh, all right, let's, let's get busy. I mean, so far, all I've been drawing is land. I don't, yeah. man, I don't think this is fair. I feel like maybe you misbuilt your deck, but I didn't want to say anything. I put some waste in this. A pentavis for the rest of us. What do I got here? <laughs> uh, I can remove a counter to make a 1-1 one, one pentavite. I can sack a pentavite. Oh, my God. Who needs creatures, honestly? It's a pentavus, Marshall, not a pentav me. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, how about we mill 10 of those basics just right out of there? Oh, no. Oh, I got all your swamps tasted. Oh, my beautiful artwork. Can I actually and, win and this the race? Wastes. I have no idea if I can actually win this race, but we're doing it. Probably. I probably I four yeah. four turns and I milled out. Yeah, and I'm gaining ten, but you're hitting me for five, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen minus. Uh, something. Next turn, I'm dead. Okay, <laughs> I better get something amazing. I should do seven again because I want Grizzle Brand. This is that so would... lame. I don't want lethal. Yeah. I want to well, then don't, well then then don't kill me. You you have the power. We'll see. You are in control. We'll see, we'll see what you hit here, prof. I hit oh good. Is it a flyer? Axelrod Gunnerson. <laughs> yeah, my name is Gunnerson. I have trample. Whenever oh. a creature dealt damage by me dies this turn, you gain one life and I deal one damage to target player. I cost eight. Wow! Wow! I'm Axel I'm a legend. Gunnerson. Holy moly! All I right, well, to heck with this. Full swing. I'm blocking something. Cause I'm dead. I mean, you could have pity on me and not kill me. No, no, there seems will be, be no in the pity. Spirit, seems to be in the spirit of the CSL. I'll, I'll I think tell you Paul what I will do though, Prof. I am going to that? take an unnecessary risk and just cast like cast a Momir thing here pre combat. Yeah. Okay. When I was doing... For you seven. Know, Cast it for seven. I am. Okay. Yeah, we're phaging. All right. Ooh, I got the big dusky. Uh, yeah. Oh, this is sweet, too, because like as I'm killing you, I get to see ten more cards to your library to get an idea for how you built it. Very heavy on the uh, uh, mountains. You know what's really disappointing, though? Athreos never became active or got no. triggered or anything. No. Are you bummed? I'm bummed. Yeah. I would have loved to have died to Athreos. <laughs> so it might have taken a little longer. So what's in your sideboard? I mean, uh, do, do we talk about that since we're commentating on our no, own I match? Think, I think since we're commentating secret? on our match, we should keep it secret just in the interest of fairness this, and competition. Uh, move this, uh, this, this, this. All right. I've got some, I think I've got some tech against you here. I think it's you're running the same tech. You're running the same sideboard plan that you did last week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a plan. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I'll be on the play. All right. Are you going to go for one again? I'm going to go for... Uh, wait, i got to see if I want to keep this hand. Yeah, I'll keep it. <laughs> I'm going to go for uh, none. No, I'm going to go for one. going to go for one. All right. Stay I, on I don't. Track. I don't understand. Are you trying to do some kind of reverse psychology no. thing? No, on I told you. you it's like, I don't think you should go uh, for one. Yeah, professor. You shouldn't go for one. You might get <laughs> ramp. Or whatever. I got a gorilla shaman desperately uh, needed if I need to destroy target non creature artifact with converted mana cost X. Man, that card actually used to see play like in formats with like Moxon and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Because you can just blow them up for a mana, but. 
So you're not doing one. I don't no, understand. I refuse to do one. Here's my wastes in case I get some Eldrazi. Oh my god, you can put wastes in these decks? Oh yeah, uh, you see, because they're basic lands. I can't believe no one, it. No one told I don't you have that any. they're basic lands? Well, the thing is that I'm a man of high taste, and there's no guru wastes. So you're just a just man of height. The taste, <laughs> yeah. Your taste is, is, is right where it is on most people. It's just your head is so high, the taste, <laughs> the taste goes up with it. You may put target card from a graveyard on the bottom of its owner's library. You want to get a land back? It, uh, it, it could save you from getting milled. Yeah, why not? Although, uh, uh, be careful. I don't want someone to call a judge on me for getting coached there. <laughs> Fair. All right, no blocks. Well, we'll have a Simic start. How about that? Flavor. It's on flavor. Right, here we go. Way too many planes in this hand. Mm. Something sweet. Pack rat. Oh, nice. <laughs> Pack rat. Oh, my God. <laughs> if only I had a swamp in my hand or two of them. <laughs> oh, my. Can I win a game of Av of Momir without activating Momir outside of one time? That's the question. That, I would, be, I, that would be pretty good. <laughs> I'm, against, I'm on. against me, maybe. Also, oh, Merfolk! Merfolk! <coughs> Can't attack unless the Finning player. Okay, I have that. Oh, oh, and you yeah. have an island. You mu must be nice, and you can send it to the sky. All right. I don't know if I can race you now. I, I, I am not sending you to the sky, Mister Sutcliffe. I'm sending you to the seas. <laughs> I should click OK so the game can proceed. <laughs> I was just thinking that. Yeah. You know what? Go. I don't need Momir. I've got a pack rat. You're going to try and win with pack rat. I'm going to try to win with pack rat. I'm all in on my buddy, Patrick. All right. I, don't, I don't really see what could go wrong here. You don't? But maybe you'll show me. <laughs> oh, sure. how lucky. You drew your, uh, your snow forest again? or your? Yeah, my, well, my ice age forest. My forest that has snow on it. Forest snow. When Azurius Justicor, how do you pronounce Justicator, Justiciar, no, enters the battlefield, right, detain up to two target creatures your opponents control. All right. I'll detain you. I may respond. I've got some questions. I've got some questions for this rat. <laughs> got some questions I want to ask you. All right. And I'll, uh, can I detain the other one? No, it doesn't work that way, does it? Negative. Negative. All right. Well, here we go. Merfolk! Bring it on. I take Merfolk damage and I... What? Scoff no blocks? No I scoff blocks? at the mer Merfolk damage, in fact. Fluff huff. Do I bother attacking you here? Now, next turn. Next turn, you're going to feel the rat heat, but for this turn, I will, I will allow you to uh, survive. This the standard of pack rat was not long enough ago, Marshall. We're still <laughs> not really over it. I'm still oh, sick of man. seeing him. Can he go the distance? Ignoring my avatar, can pack rat get the job done? What is Ooh. this? <laughs> Illusory wall. What? I'm getting all my favorite cards from high school. This is it's a 7-4 awesome. with flying and first strike? Right, and it's a wall because, you know, a wall would have first strike. That makes sense. Oh, God. Let them see what is not there and feel what does not touch them when they no longer trust their senses. That is the time to strike. Merfolk! Well, no, I, I need you to read the, uh, right. the person who said that. Oh, they literally have three A's in their last name in a row. You're the Agus daughter. <laughs> You're the Agus daughter, Archmage of the Unseen. Wait, you're attacking? Why wouldn't I? Because I'm going to make rats. Oh, well, don't tell me that. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Well, I should say rat. But... You know, I like, you know what, Marshall? I like playing reason. against you. Yeah. I like playing against you. Wait, <laughs> you're attacking, but I'm about to do a combat trick. <laughs> Boy. Oh, man. Oh, God, another swamp. I, I think I can see why the Pro Tour career didn't go very far. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 don't attack now. I've got you. No, yeah, I'm not. yeah, hold back, and then I'm in real trouble. <laughs> they say you're a nice guy. I'm, yeah.
Are you going to pay for your illusionary wall? Yeah, hell yeah, it's keeping you back. Yeah, you probably should. It's only one blue. Yeah, for now. The tax man's coming, though. Well, let's see what I get for five. Oh, my God. I'm getting so many old cards. Meng Hua, Barbarian King. Four, four. Other green creatures you control get plus one, plus one, and nothing else. All right. All right. Pretty solid artwork there, too. So you're going to make rats, huh? Yeah. I'm Lots in Lots of rats. <laughs> I, I think you are. This is totally broken here. It is going to get I can't even attack into you. Here. I can't even attack into no. you. No, the rat patrol is live. By the way, look at my graveyard. Yeah. All, all planes discarded so far. Yeah, yeah. Just for the flavor. Well, you're running like 15 swamps in your deck. No, I eh, I don't know, actually. <clears throat> but it's like some not exactly even amount. I think I'm going to lose my illusory wall to cumulative upkeep. <laughs> it's a tough price to pay, buddy. <laughs> cumulative upkeep was cool. I, I don't, don't like think it. that's true. <laughs> yeah. Now, wait a minute. Why? Oh, I don't have any cards to discard. Oh! I, <laughs> I was like, why can't I activate my Momir Vig? <laughs> you played your land too fast. Yeah. Oh, man. That was Oops. great. Oops. <clears throat> I will note all planes still discarded to my rats, though I'm going to change that now. All right, you ready for the rat attack? Uh, no. Okay, well. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> now, just, I think it's fair to warn you I have a combat trick in my okay, hand. Okay, I appreciate that. Wait, you're attacking? Because uh, I can do a thing. All right. Let's Eek. see what you got. <laughs> all right. I've got blockers for days. I don't think I want to kill the merfolk, though. <laughs> you're going to leave the merfolk back? I love that. Yeah. Well, I don't want them to die. I guess I'll kill something. I'll kill one of the rats. That'll be fun. Will you, though? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, but you <laughs> smart. So that's how Pack Rat works. It Indeed. Indeed. Yeah. Right. Oh, so they all get stronger. Yeah, yeah they get pretty, about strong enough to kill you here, buddy. <laughs> Boy, I, this card is really too powerful for standard. I can see why uh, they wouldn't want to put it in a standard set. Wow. Uh, yeah. Pack Rat. Who needs right. it? That was sweet. I got to do that. I got to do that. Perspective. Oh, man. <laughs> rats. Yeah. Got rats, me. rats off got to you, me. Professor. Hats off to you, Marshall. <laughs> so that, so is that was a fun. Wacky format. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's the kind of thing that you get from Momir is weird stuff. It's not always just about like, you know, seven drop, seven drop, eight drop. It, it gets kind of weird sometimes with... Sometimes somebody gets mana ramp, and then all of a sudden they're, you know, able to get up to 10 or 11. And sometimes it's activated abilities or swamp walk or something strange that you didn't think about. And uh, you always get this this totally random stuff. But uh, it's always fun. Uh, if, you, if you feel like flipping coins, <laughs> Momir Vig is, is a great place to go to flip a very elaborate coin. <laughs> Have you ever played the game Flux? It reminds me a lot of Flux. Flux. Hard game. Know, flux. You flip yeah, up, uh, flux. A, and then a friend of, uh, I think uh, Rashad tried to teach me that game once. Uh, as, what, as, what's as the base you, premise? You have a, a, a stack of cards. You each have cards in your hand, and there's a starting set of rules for how you win. But as you turn over more cards, they add to the rules. Ah. So you're supposed to get a certain condition met with the cards in your hand to win. But then you might turn over a card that says, or if you have three of this type of card, now that can also win. Uh, and so the rules begin to grow and evolve and they'll even uh, uh, counteract themselves. So like uh, I, uh, one rule might say, you no longer can win for this condition. And so the rules of the game are constantly in flux. Uh, reminds see. me a little bit of Momir, just in the sense of when you turn it over, you never know what's going to happen. Yeah, and, and I think that that is one of the features of Momir, is that you, it swings so much from turn to turn, usually, 
Mm -hmm. Right. But also it has this ability to just brick epically. Right. You're like eight <laughs> mana. And right. then, like it does. You get a one one or something. Right. Yeah, that, or like, or Axel clear. Gunderson. Like yeah. <laughs> Gunderson from Legends. Yeah, Boy, those that, are some expensive. Uh, I have to say, I, I, I kind of am really happy that you hit Axel so that we got to hear <laughs> you read that card. Also, all of those old legends are just miraculously bad like that one's actually decent like it does something but you'll hit the ones that cost seven or eight mana and it's like it's a five four with trample yeah no there's i mean you can get nickel bolas or any of the elder dragons i'd be pretty happy with although the yeah. cumulative upkeep might not be uh, uh or not cumulative the the uh each the upkeep might not be doable given how your mana is. Yeah, that's the other thing is that it's funny because you just think jam a whole bunch of lands into my deck and whatever, but it actually matters. You know, it, Prof, I was mentioning that the spreadsheets that people have, you yeah. know, there is also an optimal balance for those lands. Again, I don't care what it is because that's not <laughs> what I play. But like, there's there's more creatures with like one type of land walk than another. Right. So you want to like hedge right. down the activated abilities that could be really important. You know, you may want to go in that direction. I mean, to me, it's like, come on. Right. Like yeah. it's, it's supposed to be for fun. Like you're not I, 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 maybe maybe it's worth it just to get the right basic lands in there once because then you just never change it again. But mm -hmm. like, yeah, I'm not I'm. The, the the time I consult a spreadsheet when I'm playing Momir Vig is when I'm ready to to hang up my mouse and uh, and call it a magic online career because well, it's just not what, what about it's if a... we have a Momir GP someday? I mean, that's you, not gonna happen. Really... <laughs> you you want to have a live Momir GP? Everybody has to bring a box with every creature ever. Well, maybe it'll <laughs> yeah exactly. Well, maybe it'll be part of the push uh, for Magic Online, where it'll be a, a Magic Online GP with Momir as. Oh, the there form. you go. Yeah. You know, it would be great too because it would be like going back, like maybe you know four or five years ago when people play against me because they'd just be like, "Yeah, he had Pack Rat." <laughs> 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 just like they said when that card was legal. Yes. So we've got uh, one more round. Uh, we have one up. more round. Do uh, we know who it is? It's Magic the Amateuring versus uh, Kenji. Kenji versus... Thank, uh, thank you, voice in my Maria head. Maria. Oh, my God. That, yeah. is, that is fantastic. I That's going to be a lot of fun. For that one, yeah. Um, are we ready to go to a break? Or? I, I okay. would like to think about some products relating to Magic the Gathering that I might like to purchase. What about you, Marshall? <laughs> <laughs> You're very subtle, Prof. All right, that will do it, though, for round four. Thanks a lot for hanging out. Professor, great job. That was fun. And uh, one more round left on the CSL. Don't go anywhere. Who's that preview card?